you can see the lace is kind of sticking down. You can tell when the lace is not going to stick down because it will be out like this. But because we have a headband, it's already down, so it makes our life a little bit easier. I'm going to just put this here behind my ears. I don't cut too close to the lace, but I don't leave a lot of lace on. I like to cut a little bit right here. So I'm just going to follow the hairline. And you can see I said jaggedy, but not jaggedy straighty, okay? So we're going to go in, out. They kind of just doing a zigzag, but not small zigzags. And I do this because it's a little, it just makes it look a little more natural. So you can see how it's looking right now. It looks a little more natural rather than just a straight line. Especially if you did not pluck the hairline properly. Again, we're doing motions like this. Which you can do with a razor blade, you could do with a razor comb, you could do with whatever. I'm just not going to do that. And it's done! Okay, so, look at my lace up close. We took off a lot. So you can see, first of all, the lace blends in my skin too much because I'm having a hard time showing you guys. Which is not a bad thing, it's actually a good thing. But if you look really, really, really up close, you can see the lace, I kept on a teeny bit of the lace. You can see a very little bit. If you go in day to day and you just see that you want to take off more lace, then go ahead and do it. But don't just like, cut it off. like. Example, right here we have a little piece right here. You can just literally, I like to make a, a shape like this when that happens. So I'm just gonna go in and just make it look a little more natural and look. That's exactly how you cut your lace. It's super easy and it's right to the point and there's literally not much work involved when it comes to cutting your lace, it's just, kind of going in motion like this that's what I do but go close to your hairline but not that close if that makes sense okay 